everyone welcome back to the channel so in the last two videos i had shown you that how you can convert your raspberry pi into a wireless router using host apt and dns masquerade softwares and then in the second video we had extended uh, this wireless router into a, a vpn gateway using open vpn and uh, vpn services from cactus vpn so this morning i have purchased uh, nord vpn services and i'm going to show you that uh, what is the performance of nord vpn here so I'm um, already connected to my Raspberry Pi board and uh, uh, I'm uh, right now connected to the VPN but I'm not uh, directing the traffic of uh, my wireless devices through uh, Tunnel Zero. Uh, it's all going through uh, Ethernet Zero on internet here. Yeah? So here, here is the rule basically where you can see that it's going all through uh, Ethernet Zero not Tunnel Zero. So we will check the performance uh, with the of, of direct internet connection first and then we will compare it with the VPN connection. We will run like three uh, runs of uh, each actually yeah? uh, with and without VPN. So let's see. So this is run 1. So we are getting close to 20 Mbps I guess. Yeah, so 23 Mbps and now let me just try one more time. in 20 mbps and let me just try one more time so it's uh, again i think 21 mbps so it's, it stays close to 20 mbps plus minus i mean 3 4 yeah so now let's uh, uh, direct this traffic through uh, tunnel 0 and see that if that makes any difference huh? So let me just delete this Ethernet rule. Uh, and add tunnel zero rule. Tunnel zero. I'm verifying the rule if it's set or not. Yeah, so here we can see it's already set to tunnel zero. Now we'll rerun the test three times to I'll close the browser and maybe open uh, another window and I'll tap faster turn. So this is now going through tunnel zero. I think the initial DNS resolution is not taking quite a time here. So uh, it's uh, 11 Mbps, uh, 12, 13, 16, 18. Okay, oh, it's shooting up. Okay, 22, 21. Okay, it's 21 Mbps. I'll run one more, run it two more times. Yeah. So, okay, so now it's 15 Mbps. One more time. Uh, 21 Mbps. So I think that uh, connecting to VPN is not kind of uh, uh, degrading as such this uh, as such uh, internet speed uh, kind of for too much. Yeah, uh, the only bottleneck what I see on the Raspberry Pi uh, is the WLAN interface itself because it's, it's not having any uh, external antenna. So there you get like uh, sort of like uh, performance which is like obviously degraded actually. So my original internet connection is of 200 Mbps, but when I connect to Raspberry Pi uh, access point, I get like uh, close to 20-25 Mbps speed, not more than that, yeah. And on top of that, if I hook on uh, uh, the VPN, then I get like uh, somewhat similar performance. I mean, it's maybe 10% less, yeah, not more than that, yeah. So that's all. So thanks for watching. I hope uh, you had enjoyed this video and you have found it enough useful. Thanks again, yeah. Cheers, bye.